Hello everyone, it's your boy GM here and welcome back to another Fire Emblem Heroes reaction. That is correct, and today we're going to be looking at the new heroes, Guardians of Peace. Now, this video has been out for two days, but I've been streaming, I've been out with some friends, I have not had the time uh, to even look at to even to look at the video and such. But I have the time today, and we're going to be checking it out right now. Oh uh, wow, we get we're getting more heroes almost almost every three weeks now like that's crazy like like new heroes like like damn um i have not seen i mean i've seen what they look like because i was like i was like where are they from but i have not seen their skill kit or anything so we're gonna check that out right now that's gonna be first impression reaction so here we go let's get started all right cool Ooh, new heroes okay the Sprinterly Dancer. Hi there, I'm Lauren. I may not look it, but I'm part of the Resistance. The Resistance from the Blinding Blade. So she's a uh, a dance a dagger infantry dancer. We already have we we have one before. Um, the last one I forgot what was her name, but yeah, that's pretty much her. Okay, so let's see. Let's see. Oh my gosh, she comes with a dagging slayer. <laughs> Weapon, okay. Alright. Oh wow. Alright, so let's see. Dragon Slasher Plus. Affected against dragon foes. Disables units and foe skills that change attack pro Oh What? This is literally like Myoti Myogi I forgot what the weapon with name was. This is literally the exact same one. They just change it with a different name. Like, what? You have Harding Berry built in into it, so... Oh, my lord. Well, I guess you can't do crazy stuff like Desperation or Vantage to get, it a, to, get, uh, to get the advantage of the Dancer, but I'm like... Okay, I guess it is what it is, but hey. Hey, it's it's a it's a Dragon Slayer weapon that's in the, is in, is in the summoning pool now, so... Yeah, so we got Dance. Disarm Trap 3, this was only on Spring Paula. Spring Paula only had this skill. And it was crazy because, like, why put this skill on a seasonal, like, literally on a seasonal, um, unit? And we will get it till next spring. So, I thought it was kind of ridiculous, but hey, we got it as a, as a seal, uh, as a skill now. So, that's cool. So, it's in the summoning pool. While in eight, while attacking eight the rays, if unit ends moving on a space with a bolt trap or heavy trap, cancels trap effects. Well, the thing is that this is only works on dagger units, so it so it can so it cannot work on any other unit, which kind of sucks actually. Uh, speed slash res gap three at the start of turn grant speed slash plus five plus five to ally with the highest speed plus res in total for one turn, excluding unit. Now I don't know how this will work. Like I don't like I I understand opening skills, but gap skills I don't understand at all. So it's kind of. It's kind of effy as you, if you if you catch my drift, but okay, cool so far. Not gonna pull. All right, there we go. Who is this knightly ideal? We must end this war soon, for the sake of all those who cannot defend themselves. All right, so he is a lance cavalry uh, unit. Okay. Well, we already have a lot of those. Okay, they're gonna be they're gonna be known as the saturation type, just like the flying flying lance. Um, class. Bye bye. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what he has. All right. What is this? All right. Prize lance. Okay, that's a weird name. Okay, accelerates and special cooldown trigger count minus one. At the start of combat, if foes 100% grants all stats ex excluding HP uh, plus four during combat and inflicts special cooldown charge. Uh, what? What? And inflicts special cooldown charge. So this is like, this is like a, so, but the thing is that they have to be 100%. If they weren't 100%, then it'd be kind of broken because, because you would have to have one way or the other. Because here's the thing, um, 
you get the advantage of him being like i guess like a soloist but ca but but Sirius already does that better because with Sirius weapon you'll be able like all you have to do is be away from your from your allies and you get all plus four during combat while this one you have to the fall has to be a hundred percent and and all stats plus four during combat and you inflict the special cooldown charge minus one on the foe per attack so that's kind of i don't know how he's gonna play well in the in in terms of meta because with this weapon it can be very situational like like yeah like you can say like oh everyone has their uh like like everyone has their uh, HP stat up already. Like 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 it's it'll be easy. But when it comes to eighth rays and especially some people who are running Duma, this this synergizes the worst because their health is already down under hundred percent. So it's not gonna work. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, Luna, all right, that's cool. Whatever. Um, attack slash defense solo three. All right, that's fine. Lol attack slash speed three. Wow, another one of these. Oh my god. At least at, at least. At least this one I'll, I won't have a problem because it's it's like uh, well depending how fast he is, um it won't put you a problem. Rouse defense slash res three. Okay, cool. If uh at the start of turn if unit is not adjacent to an ally, grants defense slash resistance plus six to unit for one turn. I would actually want that, but at the same time I don't want to waste orbs. So, but he looks a pretty cool a uh, lance cavalry. I'll stake my life. Alright. Unyielding ideas. Without effort, there can be no peace. I must keep at it. Okay, so we got an axe infantry uh, unit. Okay, so we're getting more axe infantry units. That's cool. Other than with Raven, the free-to-play uh, Linus. Um, who else is free-to-play? Well, we also have other infantry action units like Hilda, Gurk, whatever his name was. Um, I think that's about it. I think no, no, no. Uh, Summer Yerg, Yerger, whatever her name was. I think that's pretty much it. I, I'm pretty sure there's more. I just can't name them all. But um, yeah. So like, okay, that's cool. I'm all for it. But let's see what she can do. Okay, she is definitely demoted. Because I see rear, rear guard plus. If foe initiates combat, grants defense plus seven during combat. Okay, so we finally. So hope. So the thing is that what what I'm what what I have problem with the axe class is that is that like they don't have all, they don't have like all these effects that lance and flyer and and no lance and sword units have. They already have like the initiated combat plus a uh, plus whatever during combat if the foe does. And like and like all these other ones, Axe always gets like the like the very la the very last ones to do it. But I think now they realize that like the game is changing changing differently now, so they're gonna be doing that with it. But I'm hoping they do because you know like we still haven't got one that's for Res for Axe users, and and that'd be really good when it comes to like um, uh, tanking and such, depending on the what you you're using. But anyways, uh, soul, okay, brazen speed slash res three. Oh my lord. Start a combat if units HP is under 80%. Grant speed slash resistance plus seven during combat. Okay. And drive attack two. If she gets demoted, that's going to be a four star skill. Guarantee. That is literally a guaranteed four star skill because we haven't had drive attack two in a four star. Well, we do, but it's on Groom Marth. And if you really want to spend grails on on groom marth just for that skill then it's not really worth it at that point it'll be very helpful when it comes to aether race depending who's your support it, support bot is but at the same time if you can't if you don't have it then it's pretty much gg from there but yeah pretty cool what a pity and here we go nevata protector my bow arm is strong I can help you. Wow, she looks stunning. And we finally have the red bow infantry class. Not just like not just like not just bow class in general, but like red bow. We haven't this was when they introduced red color 
classes like a year ago or probably like a year and a half ago we haven't had a single red bow we thought that legendary arm was going to be a red bow but he wasn't we uh, people speculated that that probably the next legendary hero which would be uh Celica having a having a red bow or whatever but no we finally have one and is in the and it's in the pool the in the in the permanent summoning pool and she looked good good like she's from Binding Blade huh. might might as well play that game if that game ever gets remake oh my god what the Woo! what is that what is that I'm seeing oh my god whoa okay hang on before I look at that Guardian's bow. Okay, accelerate special cooldown charge. Minus one. Okay, effect against flying units. If units, if unit speed is greater than foe speed, inflicts attack slash speed slash defense five on foe direct. Ooh, okay. So, so basically, they're not attacking Res because she's a physical unit. So they're only attacking the attack, the speed, and defense. But if the unit speed is Greater than the foe's speed? Oh my god, that's that bow's gonna be dangerous. Oh, that bow's gonna be super. She's gonna be very dangerous. <gasps> she's premium fodder. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, she's premium fodder. What is this? I'm looking. I I saw the left life and death for, but I did not see B, uh, B and C. Like C is more value when it comes to eight the race, but she has special spiral. I need that for my Clarius or so whatever. Ugh, I can't even say her name right. Oh my lord. Well, not. Uh, I don't really need it for her. I could use it on somebody else, but pulse smoke is the most definite. Oh my god. Okay, so let me see. Blazing wind. All right. That. Oh. No, no, she comes with Blazing Wind too. Yeah. Life and Death 4. What I had a feeling that this was going to be a skill. So it grants attack slash speed plus 7, inflicts defense slash res minus 5. So it gives you a 2 and extra points. If it give you like 8, that'd be, that'd be pretty insane actually. But damn, dude. That's, that's going to be crazy. Special Spiral 3 and Pulse Smoke 3. We finally have Pulse Smoke 3 in the summoning pool. People, yo, Intelligence System is so, it's like, it's like all out there. Like, they, they know what they want from people. So they decided to put this skill on a unit that's not only really good on its own, but, at, but at, it's going to be literal premium fodder. That's super crazy. Oh my lord, this... Yo, this whole banner is stacking, like, uh, but I was going to skip this anyways. I'll just pull for my one summon. If I pull, happen to pull her, oh, I'll just get her flowers and kill her off because, honestly, I already have bow users. I don't need another one, but damn. Pull smoke. I can give that to Ike. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, it's a Paralog story. Okay. Okay. Who's the, who's coming in? Chad. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> People are gonna make memes out of it because I'm seeing memes and saying like, "Yo, he's a Chad. He's a Chad. His name is literally Chad." What? <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh my god, yo. This is too good. This is too good. What I think about this banner, though, I'm honestly going to take it as a skip. Because I don't see anything interesting. Other than her, don't get me wrong. She is busting. And I mean busting. But, pulse smoke. Oh my god, this could be my one chance of getting pulse smoke. But, I won't. But anyways, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna be streaming Pokemon again. Uh, it's just gonna be like around like around 11:30 Eastern Standard Time to like 2:30 Eastern Standard Time, and then I'm gonna take a break and come back, 
and uh, depending on what time I come back, probably like six or seven o'clock, I'll be doing uh, I'll be doing the stream till like till like midnight, and then yeah, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, we could beat the game to, by today. Hopefully, hopefully by today. I know it's like eight hours, but at the same time, I'm hoping we can. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. This is your boy Anzi GM here, and he is out of here. Later.